We are going to begin this assembly project by working on the lower assembly portion. I'm just going to page down one page here and we have all the parts. This assembly actually consists of seven parts and all the information we need is specified here. Please note we are all stock thickness is 19 millimeters so the thickness of the of the wood that we would be using is 19 millimeters so how do we begin let's start by designing part number one when we go into inventor and we're in the open dialog box and we first start up we simply click on the quick launch tool and that will bring us to the new file dialog box we know that the parts are or this entire assembly is metric so we want to create click on the metric tab and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the standard IPT or MMIPT file which is right here we can double click on standard millimeter IPT or highlight it and click on the OK button when we start a new part file we're automatically put into what's called sketch mode. If we look back at the working drawing, our profile of part one, which is this part here, and here's the definition, is basically a rectangle. So Inventor will allow you to sketch out a profile before we create a 3D part. On the left, we will start by choosing the two point rectangle tool under the 2D sketch panel and we simply left click once and then move our mouse out and left click again to complete a rectangle once we have the rectangle we're going to add the dimensions that were given on the working drawings so in the 2d sketch panel if we scroll down we can simply click on the general dimension tool and we simply click the lower 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 excuse me horizontal line click once and then simply drag out the dimension left click again to place the dimension and if we want to change that dimension it's currently at 56.916 we actually want 380 for that dimension we click on the dimension type in the value 380 it is a metric millimeter file so we don't need to put the millimeter after it and simply click on the green check mark or press OK. What that did was actually make the line longer. This is what's called parametric modeling. We're driving the length of a line by the dimension value. To view the entire the, the entire drawing in our screen we can simply move up to the top and we'll find our view tools and the very first one is a microfine glass with a little sheet of paper which says zoom all when you hover over it click on it once and the entire object comes into our working area we want to continue dimensioning and we can see that the dimension tool is still depressed if not please please click it again and click the vertical line once and then to the left or to the right depending on which line you chose and click to place it we want that value to be 135 in this case I drew it at 332.2 so we click on it once the edit dimension value comes up and we enter the value of 135 click on the green check mark to accept it we can zoom all but in this case what I'm going to ask you to do is make your way to this cube in the top right hand corner this is called the view cube this will allow us to view anything in our work screen from different angles we can click on this and we can rotate it click and hold and we can rotate it around but I want to do is simply click on the little house icon that appears and that puts it puts us in an isometric view but we're currently in what's called sketch mode so we need to exit sketch mode the quickest and simplest way to exit sketch mode is to make your way to the top toolbar and find the return button you simply left click on the return button and we exit sketch mode 
and we have now our part features list which are all our 3D tools. We want to extrude this out 19 millimeters so we simply click the extrude button. A dialog box comes up and because we have one single closed profile which was that rectangle we drew it automatically detects it so it's not asking us to redefine the profile. How are we going to extrude this? We're going to extrude it based on distance. Some other options are to, to a specific object or to a specific face. And from to is from a specific place. We can actually extrude it two different directions. We can flip the direction we want to extrude it to or split the direction. In this case, we're just going to leave it, but we're just going to enter the distance of 19 millimeters and click OK. We have completed the first actually we haven't completed my mistake we need to round off this edge and that edge so what we're going to do is scroll down and find our fillet tool before we start the fillet command a few minutes ago you saw me rotate this part if we click on the rotate object tool up along the top toolbar we get this circle and the easiest way to rotate an inventor is to leave your mouse within this circle left click and hold and then move it around so what I want to do is I want to click release click and hold and move it around so I can see that edge there once I've completed I simply right click and a pop-up menu will appear and I select done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the fillet command and I'm going to enter the value of 12 and I'm going to click on the select number or the select word there and just simply move my fillet box out of the way and as I hover over edges they highlight so I run around this edge so I select that edge and you see it gives me a preview at this point I can also select the alternate edge that I need filleted and once I have the two edges edges highlighted I simply click on OK and my part is complete I will place this in isometric view by moving to the view queue and clicking on the little house icon. I've completed part one, so we want to save it. We simply click on the save button along the top toolbar and we'll call it part one. Click on the save button. We are completed part one.